Keeping up with today's fast-paced world can be difficult. Accelerate your life with iFiber Communications high-speed internet. Surf, stream, and game like never before. Give us a call at 509-754-2600 and find out more at iFiber.tv. The fiancé of former warden woman Kelsey Barrett, missing since Thanksgiving, was arrested Friday and charged with murder. Patrick Frazee, allegedly the last person to see 29-year-old Barrett, was arrested at his home and cattle ranch in Colorado. Patrick Frazee was taken into custody this morning in Florissant, Colorado, just after 7 o'clock this morning, Mountain Standard Time, by members of the Multi-Jurisdictional Task Force, including the Teller County Sheriff's Office and the FBI. Kelsey's daughter, Kaylee, is in protective custody and will be re reunited with Kelsey's family. I cannot stress enough that this is a difficult time for Kelsey's family. While we have not found Kelsey at this time, information has been developed that is helping to narrow down our search. Friday's arrest came after police urged Frazee to speak directly with investigators and after a search of his high country ranch property as well as Barrett's own townhome. Barrett, who grew up in Grant County, was last seen in a grocery store near her home in Woodland Park, Colorado. Surveillance video shows her entering the store on Thanksgiving Day with the couple's one-year-old daughter. Frazee had told police that the couple met sometime that afternoon so he could pick up the child. Police said the only signs of Barrett were some text messages from her cell phone. Location data later suggested that by November 25th, the phone was in Idaho, 800 miles from Barrett's home. Frazee's attorney had said his client was cooperating with the investigation, and Frazee provided police with DNA samples and access to his cell phone. Frazee told police that Barrett last texted him on November 25th, the Sunday after Thanksgiving. A police investigation was opened December 2nd after Barrett's mother asked for a welfare check. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. Hello.